Didn't have time to see all of your movies that you wanted to see for the month? Well, Cinemia is letting you roll some of those movies over. Hey everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net. And Cinemia, well, Cinemia and all the, uh, and AMC and MoviePass for that matter, they all have this thing with their subscription services. If you don't see all of your movies in that month, the tickets don't roll over. They just don't. And that's how Cinemia has occasionally made money off me. They don't make a lot of money off me. I almost see all three of the movies every single month. And I usually see them on the biggest premium screen. So I, I love that whole grandfather thing. I, I got that plan, one of those plans where it was like two tickets per movie and they could be whatever screen I want. So I could see like three 40X movies with two tickets each a month for $40. So they, they probably hate me. But there are some months where it's like, I think in November, actually, I saw one 40X movie, one ticket, The Crimes of Grindelwald, and I didn't use any of the other tickets. And so in that month, they made money off of me. But a lot of people don't like when things don't roll over. In fact, a lot of people wish they could save movie tickets and they let them roll over. Well, according to CNET, Cinemia is dropping the price of their service and they're letting you roll the tickets over. So let's look about how, at how this is going to work. Frequent bailers take note, movie theater subscription service Cinemia is reducing your monthly gotta use my ticket stress by adding the ability to carry over one ticket per person per month to all plans. In other words, if you've got a six person family plan, everyone gets that rollover option. It also means that if February's full of meh movies but March's cinematic cup runneth over, you've got an extra ticket for March's movie fest. This comes in addition to new pricing, which is significantly lower than previously. For instance, the $10 for three movie tickets per month has dipped to eight. Here's the new price lineup. $3.99 per month, one ticket to any movie per month. $7.99 per month, three tickets to any movie per month. $19.99 per month, one ticket to any movie per day, AKA unlimited. So, mm, they still have the unlimited plan. And, and then you got the premium packages. For $5.99 per month, one ticket to any movie per month, including one ticket for 3D, 4D, and IMAX formats. Which, when I really look at that, considering that IMAX formats are typically like 20 something dollars, wow, that's a good deal. Uh, for $8.99, you have, one, you have two tickets to any movie per month, including one ticket for 3D, 4D, and IMAX formats, and $29.99 per month for one ticket to any movie per day, AKA Unlimited, including one ticket for 3D, 4D, and IMAX formats. Hmm, I am, um, I'm, de I'm definitely uh, th thinking that that's like a really, really go good option right there. But anyway, that that's just me. So, so anyway, I don't, it says that right here that, um, let's see here, where, where did it say? Okay, if, in other words, the, by adding the ability to carry over one ticket per person per month to all plans. Sorry, there was a little bit of a stutter there. I don't think this is going to affect me because I was already grandfathered in from an old plan. I'm going to assume that if you've got like a super old plan that is not one of these, you're not going to be rolling tickets over. But that said, it is a, it's a nice feature because rollover tickets, the reason no one's done this is because this is one of the ways they make money. I mean, this was actually one of the one of the things that MoviePass was trying to plan for. Like, this was one of the few things that worked when they had it ten dollars a month. There would be certain months where there would just simply not be much to see. You'd have your Januarys or Februarys or Septembers, and there would be movies a lot of people just wouldn't want to see. And the reason they put that clause in, you can't cancel, you can't renew for nine months after you cancel was because they didn't want people to cancel for those two or three months they weren't going to see anything and then resubscribe. So two or three months would go by and if people really didn't want to see anything, well, they wouldn't and then they would be, you'd have like a fair amount of people paying $10 for that month not seeing a movie. Now that didn't work out in the long run, of course, but, you, you know, and of course it had unlimited, so there was no reason to roll over. But, you know, it, that's just how it works. I mean... When you don't use your tickets, that's when they make their money. Now, Cinemark, one of the few things they do do that's good is that their tickets do roll over. So, in theory, and the, this is the only reason I've considered signing up for them, but I just can't bring myself to do it. 
if you sign up for Cineworld and you don't see a movie for four months, those tickets roll over. So one month comes around, you have five movies you want to see, okay, use it and use all your five tickets for that month. Uh, and I mean, essentially, I mean, it's kind of working like a gift card at that point. You're paying for service that you're not using, but the understanding is that you will use it at a later date. So anyway, this is a good thing for customers. I don't know what inspired Cinemia to do this. Maybe it's because we have news that MoviePass is bringing their unlimited movies back. And, you know, this is what good competition does. Good competition means that everyone has to step up their game to improve their service. So anyway, there's not much more to talk about that. It's kind of interesting that it starts at $3.99 per month now. So my, And I don't think, by the way, if you paid your full year up front, and I do know that Cinema is really pushing this, you got to pay for the full year up front thing. Well, uh, I don't think you get a refund, unfortunately. But yeah, may, maybe with rollover tickets, maybe that'll make it a little bit easier. Who knows? But I would love to know what says you guys. Does this sound like a great deal to you? Are you going to get Cinemia now? I would love to know. So comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but it's one dollar a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly. And you get access to my Patreon's only blog. And as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one.